Good morning. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Monday, the 25th of April, 2022, and it is my granddaughter, Illy's 12th birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. I love you so much. Have an amazing, an amazing day. This blessing is just for you. And everybody else can get in on this too. But I want this one specially for my little granddaughter. Your universe, creator, spirit guide. Give a special blessing to a 12-year-old young one today. Who's, who's, this is her earth day. Give us a blessing that she and the collective can hold on to this day. Oh, oh my goodness. We get the Om Shanti blessing. The Om Shanti peace blessing. Oh my goodness. Om Shanti. Blessed are you with everlasting peace beyond words or understanding. Blessed are you with tranquility and bliss. Blessed are you with the clarity that reveals the beauty of your soul and through which will appear as infinite and through which all appears infinite. Let me read this again. This is a beautiful blessing. The Om Shanti Peace Blessing. Om Shanti. Blessed are you with everlasting peace beyond words or understanding. Blessed are you with tranquility and bliss. Blessed are you with the clarity that reveals the beauty of your soul and through which all appears infinite. Namaste. Good morning, everyone. Please open your hearts. Open your chakras. Receive this blessing. Good morning, everybody. Okay, first thing we're going to talk about is uh, France's election. Uh, Macron won. And guys, again, this is just like, this is exactly like what happened in the United States again. But I need for everybody to be aware of what's going on with these elections and why this is so important and why all of these right-wing despots, these people who wish to subvert um, democracy are getting so far up on the on the on these ballots around the world. Guys, this is a plot. The guy that is running Europe was put in place by Vlad, okay? That was his choice. Le Pen was B Vlad's choice. The guy who's running Belarus is Vlad's choice. All of these people, this uh, 45 was Vlad's choice. The only reason, okay? And this is us. This is the power of the collective that stopped 45 and Le Pen from ascending to these high seats. Okay, guys, this is where we have to, we have to know that we have power. We have power to change things. The same power that those who are trying to destroy our world have, we also possess. Okay. And guys, we are, and, and I hate to say it like this because the universe doesn't like to say it like this, but we are in, for as far as humans go, we are in a war of good and evil. We are in a war of good intentions and bad intentions. People who wish to enslave others, people who wish to control others versus people who just want to live, okay? And this is what it's all about. What happened in France, again, we dodged a bullet. Fran French people are not happy, okay? And we have to understand this. The reason that Le Pen was so close to Macron, 
I, we as Americans think that because Macron is a good looking French guy, that he's a great guy. But the people in France don't think that, okay? Especially brown people in France, Muslims in France. Macron is about to take away um, their religious freedoms to wear their religious garb, picking on Muslim women specifically telling them that they are not allowed to wear their headdresses, their head coverings in public places, basically telling them that they are not welcome in France. As Americans, before we go all gung-ho and jump on this, that, or the other, we must first understand what is going on in those countries. We cannot act out of ignorance, okay? What's going on with these right-wing um uh, these people, um, and I'll call them nativists, okay? Nativists, these people who believe that only people who look like and think like and believe like them have, are worthy of living. This is what we are fighting against. Nativists, nationalists, um, separatists, whatever you would like to call them. These are the people who are trying to take over the world. These are the people who are actually coming after your freedoms, okay? And we just have to put it there. So Danielle had a question about Macron. She says, Macron won against Le Pen. Will this change the war in the Ukraine, okay? Again, Vlad's pick didn't win. Why? Because the people made it so. OK, they defeated Putin. The people defeated Putin. Will Le Pen's defeat change the war in the Ukraine? Spirit guides, camera, universe, speak freely, speak truly. Will Le Pen's loss change? The outcome of the war in Ukraine. My goodness, this is interesting. Okay, guys, no, it's not going to change the outcome of the war. The first card that we get is is the the imprisonment card we we get the the eight of uh of swords okay this is tied and bound vlad is tied into he is invested in the ukraine and like i said before guys he is done he's 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 done almost as much damage as he can do right now he is literally just trying to make it impossible for the Ukrainians to rebuild, okay? The first card we get is the Eight of Swords. I'm going to read this one to you uh, because this is his first card. This is bad news. Violent chagrin, okay? Violence, uh, crisis, conflict, and sickness. This is not going to change what Vlad is doing in the Ukraine. This is not going to change his plans, okay? The man is on a mission of destruction. And he is in a position of where he's losing. So you have a fake strong man who is losing his war that he thought that he could just walk in. You know, this is a bully. So now the bully is acting out and he's just stomping everything into dust. While again, the rest of the world is watching. The problem here, everybody that that everybody has to understand the guy who's running england was protecting oligarchs in england i can't think of his name right now crazy hair uh british trump i'll call him that british trump he's working for vlad okay le pen in france would have been another corner in in the uh, uae to dismantle the, the European Union, okay, to dismantle NATO. Remember, 45 wanted to pull the United States out of NATO. This is a plot. So, Danielle, okay, um, will, will the 
the loss of Le Pen change the war in the Ukraine. No, it's going to get more violent. Okay, more violent. We get the uh, the moon card inverted. Let's read what the moon card inverted says. This is in front of uh, of Vlad in this war. The moon reads. In reverse, instability, uh, inconsistency, silence, to a lesser degree, uh, deception and error. So this is more lies that are going to, this is, this is more lies. So expect to hear um, coming out of the Kremlin and coming out of Le Pen that they're going to say, oh, this was rigged. They should have won. And this is going to be, guys, this is going to be. We have got to put our energy into stopping these people, period. We have, this is where our energy has to go. France has showed us how to do this because if, if they hadn't put their energy into it, Le Pen would have won. The only reason that she didn't, and people literally were holding their noses, choosing between the lesser of two evils, Okay. Because Macron is not a beloved president in his country, and he is not taking care of all of the people in France, okay? This is what we have to work against the whole world, and we have to see. People are not happy with the way that things are going, and we have to. We have to get involved to change things. So, again, we dodged another bullet. That changed the trajectory a little bit, but it has not stopped it. These bad actors are not going to stop, guys. And America's election is next. We have to worry about a whole bunch of Lapins getting put in uh, positions of power in the United States. This is a worldwide effort. Okay, so Danielle. This is not going to change the war in Russia, the war, uh, the war in the Ukraine. It's going to become more violent. There's going to be more damage and destruction, more lies, more uh, misinformation talking points, just severity. This is widowhood. This is murder. Vlad wants to just kill people. And guys, he is right now, um, President Zelensky is in more danger than he has ever been in. What Russia wants for the Ukraine is to disembowel them, to make it to where they cannot stand, to make them disappear, go away, like they never existed. Okay. <sighs> okay. And this shirt bothers me because my bra strap keeps showing. So if it pops out again, you guys are just going to have to look at it for the rest of the video. <laughs> Okay, my next question is from T. Jones. And T. Jones, this is a great question. Now, I don't know who this Mod Gosar is. Uh, T. Jones said Mod Gosar is the wife of the Gosar that's in either Congress. I didn't write the person's name down, but it's the wife of one of the representatives, Gosar. I think he's of Arizona. Anyway, uh, T. Jones's question is, is Mod Gosar the woman who planted the bombs, those pipe bombs, in front of the DNC and the RNC um, right before January, the, the uh, uh, insurrection on January 6th, was Maud Gosar. Maud Gosar, the woman who planted the bombs outside the DNC and the RNC before the January 6th insurrection. Here we go. Is Maud Gosar the woman? Okay, T. Jones. No, Maud Go. It was not Maud Gosar. It was not Maud Gosar. But I kind of feel you're on the right track. These people, they. Uh, <laughs> this was a coordinated effort. Of course, it was. Um, but it was not. It was not uh, Mod Gosar. There is nothing that says Mod Gosar had anything to do with this. So T. Jones, no. 
I'm going to say no, it was not Mod Gosar. My next question is from Tanya. And this is for information purposes only, guys, because I don't have no money to be paying off these people. <laughs> uh, this next question is from Tanya. Tanya is asking a question about COVID. And, and I know this is a, a, one of the things that came from Sylvia Brown's uh, readings, because Sylvia Brown, uh, who used to be the psychic medium for Montel, uh, oh, what was his name? Montel Williams on the Montel Williams show. Sylvia Brown was his psychic medium. And Sylvia Brown, in one of her books before she passed away, uh, predicted the uh, coronavirus. And she also said that it would, uh, it would be here, it would resurge, and then 10 years later, it would pop up again and then be gone forever. So Tanya's question is, <clears throat> in relation to this, will COVID reappear in 10 years and then disappear off the face of the earth like Sylvia Brown predicted? Will COVID reappear in 10 years, wreak havoc, and then disappear in 10 years as Sylvia Brown predicted? Again, I did not get a yes. I did not get a yes. What I did get, though, the first card here, and guys, I want you to look at this, at, at, at what is in between these, and tell me, does that not look like the medical symbol, okay? So what I'm getting from this partnership card, this two of cups, is that um, before 10 years, I believe that our medical, um, the partnership, health and safety, that they are going to find uh, um, a reasonable cure or at least a good vaccine for coronavirus, okay? I don't think that it's going to, I mean, it's here. It's part of our RNA now. So this is going to be a part of the flu. So to say it's going to uh, resurface in 10 years and then disappear is kind of a fallacy because we're going to have COVID here. It's, it's, it's part just like the regular flu. It's a part of our world now. So no, uh, no, Tanya. Um, I think what, what's happening now, the deal, the way that the, the world is dealing with the COVID coronavirus now is going to be the standard for coronavirus treatment in the future. Um, I don't think it's going to uh, come and go. If, if, if anything, it'll be a brand new pandemic. Not a, not an old one that we already have a vaccine for. Okay, uh, my next question is uh, from Danielle. Will Disney throw money at Democrats uh, because of the, the GOP shutting Disney's, uh, their city status down? And that's what really what they did because now they have to, res, uh, re, 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 uh, they have to, they have to trust that Tampa is going to take care of Disney now instead of Disney taking care of Tampa. Um, I think that's where Disneyland is. Wherever Disneyland is, um, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a problem. But uh, will Disney throw money at Democratic politicians in Florida and around the country because of what the GOP is doing to their corporation? And these are all games, guys. These these are all rich guys. But then again, like I said, um, DeSantis is local. Disney is global. Um, and I really do think that Disney could probably squash DeSantis like the cockroach that he is. So here we go. Will Disney back more Democrats because of what the GOP is doing? Ah, yeah. First card. Oh, my God. It pissed off Disney. Oh, Disney is going to pull support from them. them di those Republicans, oh my gosh. And this they, they've done it to themselves. This is going to cause so much anxiety. This is going to cause a lot of anxiety. That's going to 
put a hamper on the, the money coffers. Disney is in talks about what they are going to do. And this is about hurting specifically uh, Florida Republicans. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They pissed off a big giant. What we got here, we got the full, whoo, full folly mania. What the GOP did, they did not think through. They just went after one of the biggest 1% companies on the planet. Radio, television, theme parks, merchandise, everything, everything. This is a multi-trillion dollar company. The hornet's nest that the GOP just kicked. Oh, oh, I hope it's as good as I hope it's going to be. What's next? Oh, they're going to get the justice that is due them. Oh, what's the last card? Oh, they're going to want to walk away. Guys, I have a feeling the GOP is going to walk back um, what they're trying to do to Disney. They're going to change course, uh, eliminate those laws, give it a little time. Give it a little time. They're going to see. They're going to feel. They're going to feel in their pockets the power of Disney. And I am not for big business, but I am so for smacking the GOP. And they are about to get pimp slapped by Disney. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be funny. Okay. My next question is from Denny. Denny would like to know. Did COVID come from poisonous snakes? Poisonous snakes or reptiles? Um, did COVID originate in poisonous snakes? Did, did COVID originate in poisonous snakes? Oh my God, Denny. Hold on. We got a yes. Let me see. Because this is a hard thing to read on. But we got the world card. And we got another. We got three yeses. Denny, yes. And unfortunately, I didn't write down the rest of your question. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can find it here real quick on my on my phone. Um, so that I can answer this. Oh, goodness gracious. And I know I'm not going to be able to. Um, oh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay, uh, Denny says, did COVID-19 come from poisonous snake venom? And is that why when people get COVID, they can't taste or smell? Okay, so first part of that question, Denny, did COVID come from poisonous snakes? We get the world. That was the first card. That was the first, yes. And then our seventh card, we get the celebration card. And our final card, the eighth card, we got our... Yes, we got three yeses that COVID came from venomous snakes. Okay, now the second part of the question, is that why people can't smell or taste when they catch COVID? But not everybody can not smell or taste. And I wonder if bats are considered reptiles. No, I think bats are considered mammals. I think the truth is the origin of COVID is going to be remain a, a mystery because I do believe that it was a, a created uh, disease. I believe that they took um, microbes from different species and created a superbug. That's just my belief, though. But let's see. Um, is 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 the reason is is venomous 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 snake venom in COVID? In the COVID virus, the reason why people cannot smell or taste when they get infected. Off the wall question, but I'm going to ask it. Why not? We got two yeses, but we got them real late in the in this throw. So, Diddy, I'm going to say because of where it is. Uh, and and what we got, we got the lovers and we got temperance. And both of these, if you think this has two cups, this has two people. Something with the number two 
is is in COVID anyway. I'm gonna say well, I'm gonna say yes because Tarot said yes. I'm not putting my ego in this. Okay, Denny, this is what Tarot says. Tarot says yes. Tarot says yes. I don't have an explanation for you. I have these two cards. I don't know how to explain them, but Tarot is saying yeah. Okay. I'm not going to throw my two cents in and, and change anything. So Tarot said, yes, it came from snakes. And Tarot said, yes, that is part of the reason why you can't smell or taste when you get COVID. Okay. And then, like I said, I think it's a 100% uh, created virus that was taken from um, the cells of many different um, animals, creatures. Okay. My next question. Oh, this is a good one. Was George Bush in bed with Russia when he was in office? Was George Bush um, on Team Russia when he was in? This George Bush Jr. Um, was he on Team Russia? Was George Bush in the GOP and his administration on Team Russia? Was George Bush Jr. and the GOP on Team Russia during his administration? Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Yes. But not in the way that 45 is. It seems like there, uh, Russia was courting the Bushes. OK, trying to give them money, trying to bring them into the side. Um, something happened there, though. There was something severe that happened. And I, I believe this was George Bush Sr. OK, they weren't the right pawn, so they didn't take the bait. Now, we only got one and we got the we got the lovers. OK, and this is before the last card and the last card we got is mutiny. So what I feel like, uh, Denny, I think this is your question, too, is that the Bushes were courted by Russia. Um, however, there were enough sane people to say, I don't think this is a good idea. Um, I think uh, Bush could see the writing on the wall. He knew what he stood to lose uh, with that. And then he was in the world. He was in the middle of 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 an America, an attack on America, which, guys, I do believe uh, was also was not just the Saudis. I think that was also orchestrated uh, by Vlad. And this is another thing that we are going to have to worry about in the future. Guys, we armed the Saudis with the same fighter jets that we have. We have given them hundreds of fighter pilot, fighter planes, warships, missiles, bombs, tanks, straight made in the U.S. of A. We have given to our number one enemy. We have people we have to worry about now. And we armed them. We armed them. We have a lot to worry about. What's going on in the world, guys? Don't don't give it fluff. This is very, very serious. Because even though these despots are losing their elections, it's not stopping these people. It's not stopping these separatists, these people who wish us harm. It is not slowing them down. And we, like I said, the fight that we can do is to, to choose where we send our energy and to shout down lies and misinformation everywhere we hear it. Okay, I'm going to keep on going with this. So uh, the last card on um, were, uh, were the Bushes in bed with Russia. And the very last card, we get the mutiny card. Okay, them laying down. This is walking away from bad leadership. So during the uh, Bush administration, the, the Russians were courting them. Hardcore. The Russians had something to do with 9-11. Yep, yep. Russians definitely had something to do with 9-11. Um, however, uh, Bush did not, did not take the bait. Did not. Um, 
and as as dumb as we would like to call him, fortunately, there were some better people in that administration, even though it was garbage too. But this, if you look at our democracy, from the, the people that the GOP has gotten to the presidency. Oh my goodness, my spirit guides are just tickling my nose. Um, we can see the de-evolution of our country. You, I mean, it's evident. Each president, each Republican president was worse than the one before him. Each one was worse less intelligent, mean, just pure evil. And and the last one they put in was the Donald, the dumbest of them all, okay? Look at what's happening. Look at what's happening. So, uh, Denny, uh, uh, looks like Russia attempted to court the Bushes but it looks like they saw the writing on the wall. And if there was involvement, it wasn't nearly what it is now. Okay. Uh, my next question. Bunch of oligarchs, bunch of Russian oligarchs. Did, I think this weekend, two of them, their whole families found dead. These guys are getting slaughtered. Is Vlad killing his oligarchs? Is Vlad killing his oligarchs, two of them, and their whole families found dead. I believe it was this weekend or, or just very recently. Is Vlad killing his oligarchs? And he is suffering mental illness. He is, he is in a mental down. It's like a shoot, not a slide. Is Vlad killing his oligarchs? <laughs> Oh my God, yes, first card, and it's the justice card, and that's what Vlad thinks it is. These are the men who spoke out against him. These are the ones who said that he should not have invaded the Ukraine that spoke out publicly. He is killing them. Oh my goodness, let me pull Got the Moon. This is going to come out. It's going to come out. This is going to be part of what sends him to the Hague. Um, next, we got the Empress. Look at all this major arcana. All oh, major arcana. Yes, Vlad is killing his oligarchs for speaking out against him, for not having his back. And that is the the this this killing is to send a message to the rest of them that he doesn't matter where they go, that he can get to them. That is the message that Vlad is sending by uh uh, by killing these oligarchs in the way that he killed them. Um, because I, I, like I said, I don't watch news, so I didn't hear this on the news. I had to ask Siri. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is getting crazy. So these people are not sick. No, but but uh, Denny, the, the reason, he, he is shutting up people. That is, that is the price of speaking out against uh, Vlad. That is why he killed those oligarchs. My next question is from Danielle. Uh, she's talking about how the, the youth are being silent, okay? And they really are. Um, back in 2019, 2018, we had the kids that were in the Florida school shooting. They were out. They were campaigning. They were getting kids to vote. They were really talking it up. Danielle's question is, will the youth of America come out in 22 like they did in 2020? Will the youth of America come out to vote in 2022 like they did in 2020? Here we go. Let me shuffle these cards a little bit more. Here we go. Will the youth of America come out to vote in numbers like they did in 2020? First card, we got temperance. Yes. These kids, the kids are going to save us. 
The kids are going to bring us back into balance. And guys, this is going to take a little time. But the children, you know, like like Whitney Houston said, the children are our future. And I believe it too. I believe the children are our future. They are the only ones that are going to save us because we as adults are doing everything that we can do to destroy this country. Separatism, hate, greed, just plain being mean. We have to look at the younger generation to see how they're they're doing and what we have left them with, what we have left our children with. Yeah, they're going to come out to vote because kids can't afford to move out of their mother's house. When a car, a Tesla costs, what, $100,000? That's a house. The world is showing us that it is only made for people who have money. That everybody else who does not make millions of dollars is has no power, has no voice, is nothing. When only the rich can drive an electric car, when only the rich can afford to live in a decent house, then the war is on people. The war is on us. When we have the one percent Telling people what they can and cannot do. Telling women, only women, only women, only women, what they can and cannot do with their body. And, and in the same breath, they will tell a woman that she cannot choose when or if she wants to have children. But a man in the same state can say, you can't tell me what to do with my body when we ask him to just cover his mouth and nose to protect the world. And they say, you cannot tell me what to do with my body. But those same people make laws about what a woman can do with her vagina. A something that no man was born with. Not if you're a man. You were not born with a vagina. If you are a man, M-A-N, you don't have a vagina. And I don't want anybody saying, well, what about intersexed people? Those are intersexed people. They are neither male or female. They are both. I am talking about women. Only women have a vagina. Okay, so men, since women don't have penises, women don't tell men what they can do with their penis. And since men don't have vaginas, the same should be true. A man should never be able to tell a woman what she can do with her body. Okay, so, and, I, and the last thing I want to do I want to thank beautiful girl because I can't find your email address. I want to thank you for the gift card that you sent me. Oh my gosh, you are so generous. Thank you so very much. I love you. All right, every guy, everybody. This has been my reading for Monday, the 25th of April. Five days, guys. This weekend, we're in May. This weekend, this is how fast this is going. We are already, we, we we're out of winter into spring, going into summer of 2022. We don't have time to sit back and take a breath. The universe is showing us that we are in rapid transit towards something. And we can all see that train coming. Prepare mentally, spiritually, and physically. Prepare. There's no reason to be scared. There's reason to dig deep down inside you. Pull all that magic out of you. Turn it on and start creating. Start changing. Start fixing. But the thing that we have to start with is ourself 
and our family units. That is our first mission, is to fix ourselves and our family groups so that we can emerge strong. We can come together in love and then everybody's magic can be put together. When we come together, the light energy that we will emit will be magnificent. This trauma, terror, is to push us together. These people trying to tear us apart is to push us together. Stop fighting. Say, I'm sorry. Accept that apology. Lay your ego down. It's okay. We need each other. And sometimes we get into squabbles about garbage that doesn't matter. Let it go. Open your arms. Open your heart. Invite your family back in. Now, guys, believe me, I am not telling you that you need to embrace abusers, that you need to embrace people who are trying to hurt you. No. No, I am not telling you that you need to victim victimize yourself. To, to, to fix your family. No, we have more than just a biological family. We have the family that we were born into. We have the family that we create. And we sometimes have families that adopt us. Choose your family. Build it. Fix it. Repair it. Make it strong. If it's not the family you were born to, it's the family you created. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a fantastic Monday. No fear. Put your magic to work. It is time to create our future. Put your energy into what you want, not into what you don't. Namaste. Namaste.